What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys Justify Lucario in Ranked Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Lucario, this Pokemon is fun every time I use it. I feel like every time I use it, I'm having a good time and hopefully I'm grabbing some wins with it. Lucario's got Justified as its ability, so we're pairing it up with Beat Up Mousehold to boost that attack to plus four or maybe plus three or maybe plus two. Depends how many Pokemon we have inside of our party and Looking to do some big time damage. Lucario is holding the cover cloak with the normal terror type. It's got e-speed. Obviously got a rocket with the normal terror type. And then it's got close combat, detect, and meteor mash. So two stab moves, one first turn priority move to pair up with its terror type. Gotta love Lucario. Like I already mentioned, we got beat up Mousehold. Mousehold just here for support. It's got taunt, follow me, protect with safety goggles, and friend guard. And then we also have another cool Pokemon, which is going to be Hisuian Zoro. Not just any Hisuian Zoro. Got ourselves choice specs Hisuian Zoro. Now, zoro has got Illusion, so it can, you know, disguise itself as another Pokemon, but it also has the Fighting Terror type to kind of neutralize some of its weaknesses. It's got Bitter Malice, Hyper Voice, Terror Blast, and Flamethrower as its final move. So, no Pokemon, we'll probably be using it maybe in one, maybe two battles. We'll see. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Archaludon, Murkrow, and Sylveon. Sylveon's going to be a great special attacker. Archaludon's going to be a great special attacker with nice defense boost with Body Press, and Murkrow going to be Murkrow. Doing support things, got weather control with rain dance, tailwind for speed control, haze to take away stat changes, and also has foul play to do a little bit of damage. Guys, want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Justified Lucario. First match coming at you guys for today's video, and we're going up against a Talon Flame team with Komo. -O. They also have Milotic, they got Rillaboom. Clefable, great, cool support Pokemon. And last but not least, they have gold to go. So I'm not going to lie, I kind of like this beat up combo right here of Lucario and Mousehold. I think we get this video started off hot with those two. So I'm going to end up leading them. If they end up leading a fake out user, we could just, you know, go into Ghost Terror because we have Cobra Cloak on Lucario and then Ghost Terror could stop fake out. So that wouldn't be bad for us. I actually really like that. I am scared of uh, like a Flare Blitz kind of play from Talonflame into my Lucario, but I could also go into like a normal Terror type. Few different options for us. Definitely a few different options. So I'm gonna go into both of them. Um, I think Sylveon could be nice. Could Sylveon be nice? Hmm. Hmm. You know, kind of scared of that Milotic. I feel like Milotic's just such a good Pokemon. I could go Archaludon. I mean, Archaludon always solid in many different situations. We got the Flash Cannon. We have the Body Press. Stamina also boosted up. Could be great. And yeah, I think just Sylveon's gonna be our play. Take a nice little Throat Spray Sylveon. What moves you got? Probably the typical move set, right? Yeah, the typical move set right here. With a nice little fire terror type. No, ground terror type. Ooh, baby. A little bit of ground terror type? I'm with it. It could actually be nice. Especially up against, like, this golden go, even though, like, fire would pretty much work the same. But it is what it is. I'll take it. We got third spray, so if I can boost that special attack, we'll really get bouncing out here. But I'm really hoping they just don't need talent play and we can just go beat up Mousehold into Lucario and just start showing off that combo because Lucario is so strong. Especially once it gets a justified boost. And if there's no terrain, like, there's not going to be any uh, psychic terrain. We can just first turn priority round. But Fable's going to fly out here. Um, We got Curver Cloak. We are just going to go Ghost Terror with Mousehold. And this is just an easy beat-up situation for me. A simple, easy beat-up situation for me. And I'm just going to get rid of this Fable. So, yeah, we're going to go beat-up here. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Jeans. Ghost Terra first. Go for beat-up. And then, do we just Meteor Mash that down? Or do we just Close Combat the Roll Boom? I can really, I can really get after this roll boom with a close combat. Yeah, I'm down to get after this roll boom with a close combat. I'm going right after roll boom. Oh, you better not go for follow me. I doubt you go for follow me here. I feel like this has got to be a fake out turn rather than follow me. Maybe we should have went for meteor mash. Let's see what you got here, Fable. Fable, Fable, what you doing here? What you doing here? Hopefully it's not a follow me because that would really waste a turn for me. Because I would love to just pick up a first turn KO here. And I mean, follow me would take away beat up, which really sucks. But I, ju I just don't see you using follow me here. I really don't. I really don't, because I think you're faking out. Yep, there's the fake out. No follow me? No follow me? Cool. That's exactly what I wanted. So beat up comes out here. We got that covert cloak. They don't even know it yet. And I'm kind of curious to see what Fable's doing here. I'm going for a moon blast, maybe? Hopefully Lucario can survive that. So justified boost here. Beautiful. Plus four. Plus four. Plus four. 
My defense is going to be dropped if, if you are going for a Moonblast here, which could be scary. And we're just going to KO you with a crit. Awesome. Dope. You were dead anyway. So my defense is dropped. Oh, no, Lucario. I'm scared here. I don't want to die out. I would like to get another turn with Lucario. Cosmic Power. Oh, no. We're dead, aren't we? Oh, my bad. I thought Cosmic Power doesn't attack. He's going to boost his defense, which is totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that because now I can follow me away. Why do I think Cosmic... I got Cosmic Power mixed up with a move. I think Stored Power... I got him mixed up with. But he's going to end up going into Komo'o. Getting after it with Komo'o. Um, got the Grassy Seed, so he's going to get that nice little defense boost. Um, but let's go after Fable here. I definitely want to follow me. Definitely want to follow me, and I think I am just going to go after the Fable. We could close combat the Komo'o down, but I think there's a, there's a chance that Komo'o might even thrash last year. And there is a chance that Follow Me could come into play. So I'm going to go into straight little Meteor Mesh here. With Follow Me. Alright. So not sitting terribly. They still have Terra. We still have Terra. We can always E-Speed if we want to. But I, I feel like there's no point of us E-Speeding with Follow Me on the field. So we Cosmic Powered up. He's going to get that defense boost. Follow Me is going to come out from him. That's totally fine. We were attacking you anyway. And Meteor Mesh should KO no problem. Meteor Mash, bop, super effective. Oh, wow, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa! Hold up, I... You got unaware. I was trying to figure it out. I was trying to figure it out. I, I, I was sitting there, I was like, wait a minute. Why are you so bulky? You got unaware. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense, I totally forgot about unaware. That actually puts a damper on our parade. Is there a chance to eat Terrasalize now? There is a chance to eat Terrasalize now. You know, we're gonna go for Meteor Mash in this slot. I think you might go for another follow me, but totally forgot about that move. I totally forgot, or not that move, that ability. They end up protecting Fable here, so good swap on our end. This might be huge play for us. Might be huge play for us. We swapped at the perfect time. But yeah, I totally forgot about Unaware. I was sitting there, I was like, wait a minute, why did they do that much damage? But Meteor Match, gonna pick up the KO, no problem, on the Como. -O. Yeah, I was just like, alright, big damage, this thing's probably still dead. And I was like, it did half. I was like, wait a, wait a minute. And I had to think for a second, I was like, wait, it's got Unaware. You guys do not know unaware it uh it makes the pokemon or the user with that ability like forget about stat changes pretty much so it's it, it doesn't take damage from the plus four attack it takes it as like a neutral attack but golden ghost can come out here um could just go into a beat up into it's gonna do probably like negative five uh our best best probably just a simple follow me here I could taunt Fable. I could taunt you. I'm gonna taunt Fable. Just so we don't have to deal with that. And I'm just gonna detect this turn. Actually, it might even set up. We might just wanna go for Meteor Mash. Get off as much damage as we can. And we'll see a Terror type pop out here. I, I would think this is Golden Go more so than anything, but it could be Fable. And this is gonna be Fable. And the fire is steel. Should have went for close combat. But luckily we're taunting that thing. Um I have Sylveon in the back end, but I also have Terror type. So actually, no, I don't. I forgot to use my Ghost. Okay, that's not bad. Steel types on the field, not good for Sylveon. No bueno. Meteor Mash. How much damage are you doing? Negative six. Nasty Plot's gonna fly. Oh no. I think we lose this match. I think we lose this match. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and lie. Luckily, we do outspeed close combat. How much damage could you do? Close combat. You could do some damage. We know he wants to go for. Make it rain. We already know that. Um, we're gonna go for close combat into Fable because I mean, we don't have to. How much damage can Meteor Mash do on the Golden Go? That's the real question. So Arch Loot on. Nice Pokemon here. Um, oh man. I am just going to. I don't even know. If you're attacking, I'd rather go follow me. I taunted there. I'm just gonna do this and just go for a close combat. Go go follow me. Hopefully, close combat can KO again. Unaware's in effect right now. But I mean, a stab close combat. That's just damage. Oh man, come on now. Should have went for beat up. <laughs> Should have just taken that thing out. She's just taking that thing out. Mega Rain's gonna fly. It's probably a double KO. Yep. Now you can't protect. Um, Sylveon, do you outspeed? If Sylveon can outspeed, we can actually get off some value here. 
I could protect and just like body press and get rid of this. Uh, that's probably where we want to go with this one. Protect Sylveon, get rid of Fable, turn us into a two on one. I don't know, man. This is brutal. This is brutal. This is brutal. All my moves are Arch on. I th I think it's a hot shot that we lose this one. Definitely a hot shot that we lose this one. So Lucario killing it. Terrain's gone. We got these two on the field. Um. Huh. Trying to figure it out. I mean. Again, we got to check speeds because I, I really want Sylveon to outspeed. Sylveon outspeeds all attack, but I'm thinking of just protecting Sylveon. And then uh, body pressing the what's it called. No, you're not going to outspeed, I don't think. And I think I just body press the... Uh, The fable here, just so we don't have to deal with it. Yeah, so I'm gonna protect here. Plus, I think they go for another make it rain. Oh, they protect gold to go. That's fine. That's fine. Actually, it's not really fine. I wish I would attack with Sylveon. Pop the throat spray, which would have been nice. But that happens. Body press flies. Get rid of the fable. Turn into a 2v1. Sticky situation. Real sticky situation. My moves suck up against this thing. Absolute dog water up against this thing. We got, like, that's why, dude, that's why Golden goes so good. Like, it's typing. Like, look at this. Not very effective. Not very effective. We have to charge an Electro Shot, and I think that's our best bet. So, I'm going to charge an Electro Shot. Um, if I can, I'll go for a Hyper Voice, but Make It Range is going to fly and KO me here. Yeah, we've seen this coming all day. And bye-bye, Sylveon. And then you can probably just go into, like, a, uh, a, what is it called? I can't even think of the move. A shadow ball came away. Unless you're choice. No, you're not choice. You nasty plot it. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna win this game. I have assault vest. You're orbed. Okay. I have assault vest, which is good. So the problem here is, can we soak up a neutral shadow ball? Right. You gotta. That's gotta be your move set. It's gotta be protect, nasty plot, make it rain shadow ball. Gotta be your move set. You nasty plot up again. Hold up. Just give me a crit, Archeladon. I don't even think you need a crit. You might be able to KO by yourself. Plus one. Go ahead, Archeludon. Can't be serious right now. Alright, Draco Meteor. I don't think we soak up the next shot unless you don't have Shadow Ball. Yeah, no, you had Shadow Ball this whole time. I'm surprised you didn't go for it with the first shot. Game over. GG's. Came down to the wire. Lucario killed it, but Golden Go just getting the best of us. Looking to bounce back in match number two. We ended up losing that first match due to Golden Go. Just doing us dirty. Golden Go is such a good Pokemon. But we set up Lucario and we did a lot of damage. So I think we can honestly do that again maybe here and try to win it this time. They got Armourous. They got Galeed. They got Murkrow. They got Dragapult. On top of that, they got Ndidi and Espeon. So that combo looking rather annoying. I could go into you and just Bitter Malice away, which actually sounds pretty nice. So I'm going to end up leading you. Nice little Hisui and Zoroak action. And we can also pair it up with... Go in with the bird. They could go in with Trick. And we could go through Spray Sylveon, which honestly wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad. I actually really like that. So I'm going to go Sylveon. I'm going to go Zoroak here. Um, honestly, I could go, just go Murkrow first. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Murkrow first, Sylveon. And I'm just going to disguise this... Uh, this Zoroak as Archaludon. Would that be what we want to do here? Yeah, I like that. I like that, especially because you have, like, Gallade and, like, Fighting-type Pokemon. So, I mean, you could just send a Fighting move. Alright, yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. If they do end up going into the, uh, like, the Arm Rouge and, like, the Psychic kind of spam combo, we have better mouths. We can do a ridiculous amount of damage, and we're disguised right now, so. Looking for a win here. We did not bring the Lucario here. Lucario shined to match number one, but then he grabbed us a win, so. I just think this matchup, it's just not really worth it. With all the Psychic types on the field and stuff like that. They're gonna go into double typing here. So, Fighting Pokemon... We have a ghost type on the field. Um, I think from here we just, you know, send a bitter malice into this slot. Bitter malice, 75 power. Lowers attack stat. I, th I think we just send it here and we just go for tailwind. We get this up. I could go for foul play. I'll wait for tailwind next turn. Could Murkrow actually die here? I don't think so. We should go for foul play. We shouldn't. Nah, you know, we'll just play it safe for tailwind. We'll just play it safe for tailwind. Make the right call. They think it's Arch Ludon. They think it's Arch Ludon, which is awesome. They gotta think it's Arch Ludon. So there's that. Bitter Mouse is gonna fly here. And that is almost gonna dump on the armors. Almost. Sacred Sword flies into this slot. Let's go. Little bit of Illusion Zoro getting after it. Little bit of Zoro getting after it. And you get a burn, but it's 
That's kind of annoying, but it's all good. It's all good. This thing's special attacking. So Zorok with the illusion. Doing us good here. Doing us real good. So there's that. We can bitter malice down this uh this Gallade, which I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna foul play and look to rip up into armors. Yes, sir. That's a hot start for us. This is a great turn for us. That's a big time turn. They might swap armors. I don't mm, if they swap armors or terrestrialize it, we just KO. We would KO the armors and do damage to the other Pokemon. But he's gonna swap Gallade. And Espeon's gonna come out here. I do not mind that. That's free damage. That's free damage. That's free damage. This is also free damage. So we're getting off some free damage. I might want to set up a rain dance. And indeed he's oh, this is free damage. This is as free as free damage gets. Just a psychic spam. We got the perfect lead for this. We got the perfect lead for all these psychic spams. Bitter Malice launches. Bob Espeon, get on out of here. And we pull off a perfect illusion here in match number two. A perfecto of illusions. Foul play flies. We got speed. We got damage. They got no first turn priority. We're just going to take this game by storm. This one's a quick one. Quick, easy one. I could set up Rain Dance for Arch Ludon, but I don't think there's a need. I really don't think there's a need. Actually, there might be a need. There might be a need with that Pokemon, because if you go for Follow Me here... If you go for Follow Me here, that can be a bit scarier. But, I mean... I'm cool with this. We're still just going to attack. Ansem just withdrawing Glade. All right. That's fine. That's a, that's a double KO, isn't it? Actually, did I use a ghost move into... No, okay. I was going to say, did I use a ghost move into DD? No, it's double KO. What are they doing? I think they just know their toast, and they're just trying to figure out a situation where this works. But it doesn't. We got Tailwind up. We got Speed Control. We're just attacking. Nice little illusion. Turn one. They turn off their console. We love it. Like I said, I'm bouncing back here, match number two. That's exactly what we did. Nice little sweep with Zorok and Murkrow, making them turn off their console. We're sitting one and one. Moving on to our final match. Looking to go two and one. We're sitting one and one right now, going up against Alolan Ninetales. Now, Alolan Ninetales could set up a Roar Veil pretty easily, which might be a reason why we want to lead Murkrow. Murkrow could be a solid lead just for like weather control. And we could also bring it in with Arch Ludon, which could be solid for us. I mean, they got Tailwind user just like us with Whimsicott. They got Corviknight, they got Garchomp, Hisuian Typhlosion, and last but not least, they have Dragonite. So we definitely are going to want Murkrow here. Murkrow is just great for weather control. So I'm going to go into Arch Ludon. I am going to go Murkrow here for our lead. And in the back end, I like Lucario. I just like its typing. I mean, Steel, you got Fighting as well. It's going to work well. We got two Fairy type Pokemon. I'm with it. So I'm going to go in Lucario. And last but not least, we go Sylveon. I deal with the Dragons. Yeah, we go Sylveon deal with the dragons. Sylveon! Love me some Sylveon. Such a dope Pokemon. I cannot wait for them to make another evolution. I feel like Gen 10 has gotta be it. Generation 10 has got to be like dragon evolution. Rock, you got ground, you got steel. You got so many different options. Make a new evolution. It's about time. It's about time. We got the last one in six. It's gonna be four generations. That's that's a good gap. But they end up going Typhlosion and Whimsicott here, which honestly I don't mind. I mean, if they're going to do anything, we're just going to set up a rain dance and Wimscott should outspeed, right? Because if they want to set up a sunny day, Wimscott should be faster and Prankster should go first. Yeah. Which is actually good for us. So if they want to set up a sunny day, we'll set up a rain dance right behind this and we're just going to go for a nice, lovely electro shot and start boosting our stats. So let's see what they want to do here. I'm hoping they go for sunny day. I am really hoping they go for sunny day. Tailwind, that's fine. So Tailwind comes out here, Rain Dance, gonna neutralize some of this uh, fire damage if they want to throw it. And let's see what they're gonna throw. Eruption? Eruption, that's fine. In the rain? No problem. No problem. Not a problem for us. Not a problem. I get that stamina boost. I also get to launch this Electro Shot. No problem. No problem. We get to launch Electro Shots. I told you, Murkrow's gonna be nice here. A little bit of weather control action on the Murkrow. Always good. Electro Shot flies. It does not KO. Which hurts the soul. Um, Honestly, I think they go for Sunny Day. I'm not, not gonna sit here and uh, sugarcoat it. So I'm just gonna go Rain Dance again. And I'm just gonna launch a Flash Cannon in the slot. Because they could swap. But I, I, I really do think they go for Sunny Day here. Yeah, awesome. Good call on my end. They're like, you want to play weather? I'll, I'll change the sun. Nah, we changed it right back to rain, baby. 
<laughs> yo, let's go. I love doing that. I love just predicting the turn. Flamethrower launches. Yo, we circled that all day. Thanks for thanks for playing Typhlosion. Get on out my lobby. Get on out of here. <laughs> See you, Typhlosion. <laughs> thanks for chilling in the rain for a little bit. That's great. Now I could set up a Tailwind. Which I think should be my play. I think we should Tailwind and potentially just like flash kind down the Swim Scott, who could be Sash. Let's see who they throw out first. Dragonite. Uh, Dragonite. Kind of annoying. Definitely want to go Tailwind here, though. Definitely want to go Tailwind. Luckily, we are Stamina Boost already. I could go Draco Meteor and just send it this way. Which I think would be better for us. I mean... Hmm. Who do we have in the back end? We have Lucario, so if you go normal Terra... Not bad. I think we might just want to flash cannon this bad boy down. Wim's caught. Which I am going to do. I'll flash cannon this Wim's caught down. Especially because they have two turns left in Tailwind. And if we can KO that thing before Tailwind ends, we can take speed control with our Tailwind. But yeah, this looks like a normal terror type coming out from Dragonite. And that's correct statement, right? Correct? Yeah, so we have Lucario to kind of close combat deal with that. You could be uh, multi scale so we might want to get a, at least one chip damage off on that thing before anything. And he speed's gonna launch here. Are you taking out my mercs? That goes before my mercs? Yeah, Mercos dead. Didn't even think E-Speed would go before Tailwind. That kinda hurts, but I, I don't I'm cool with that. So I'm just gonna pop Sunny Day. I, I don't mind that anymore. We kinda just want to deal with Deal with that Typhlosion. So Sunny Day comes out of your flash cannon's gonna launch. Bop, see you later. We get a crit on top of that. I mean, you were dead regardless. I don't want I don't want to hear it in the comments. Like, oh, jeez, you got lucky with a crit. Nah, man, that, that Whimsicott wasn't surviving. So I could go Sylveon here. I mean, again, E-Speed looking terrifying. But I think Sylveon is going to be your play. We're just going to save the Lucario because we want some speed. Corviknight's going to come out here. Corviknight looking rather annoying. Let's be honest here, especially a lot of bulk ups going on. Um, We still have Terra, don't we? We still have Terra. I could go Ground Terra, but actually Weather Ball looking nice. Weather Ball looking real nice. Yeah, we're going to send a Weather Ball that way. And if I can, I mean, Body Press. Let's deal some damage on it with Body Press with Dragonite. Let's do it. So, East be going to fly here. That's got to be going after Sylveon. Yep. Sylveon ends up soaking. Can I get off one Weather Ball? I do not. Brave Bird going to fly here. At least he's not bulking up. All right, that's not terrible. It's not terrible because I can start charging Electro Shot. Is there, your Tailwind's done. Your Tailwind's done. And I kind of think you're multi scale with that shot. Tailwind cheaters out. I can go to Lucario. We got Steel Typing. Brave Bird can deal some damage. Um, and I could start charging this Electro Shot. Actually, let's detect here. Let's detect this turn first because you, you gotta be going after Lucario. And then we can start charging this Electro Shot. You gotta be going after Lucario. There is a hot chance that you should go E Speed Brave Bird here again. Yeah, there's E-Speed, so good detect on our end. Show me the Brave Bird following that. Because if I charge this Electro Shot and just getting out this turn out the way, it's really powerful for us. Because now we just pose this threat to this uh, this Corviknight while we're seeing plus two on special attack. That's a huge attack. Go for Brave Bird and Lucario. Now you go for Bulk Up. I, I don't mind that. I just didn't want, really want you attacking this turn. I just really didn't want you attacking. So, now we can close combat here into Dragonite and have Electro Shot ready to roll. So, you could protect us with Corviknight, but if you do, we just get rid of your uh, your Dragonite. Because I don't think he's speech of KO Lucario. No chance, right? No chance. Thank you. All day. All day. Close combat going to launch. Bye-bye, Dragonite. Dragonite, see you later. Lucario picking up a big-time KO. And then Electro Shot should wrap up this game for a 2-1 winning record. Come on, Archer Ludon. Do the Jeans community a favor. Give us a winning record. It's all I asked for. All I asked for. Electro Shot flying. This should KO. I'm not going to not gonna sit here and lie. Like, Corviknight's pretty bulky, but plus two Electro Shot. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little 2-1 winning record for you guys. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 winning record with a favorite of a lot of people's Lucario. Lucario was absolutely amazing today. We paired it up with Mousehold, used Beat Up, and we also used it without Mousehold on its own and still did a lot of work in match number three. But yeah, this video was a lot of fun to record. I mean, Justify Lucario dominated in match number one, but we ended up losing. Hisuian Zoro swept in match number two, and then match number three was just an all-around great Pokemon battle that we ended up taking. So again, a lot of fun doing this one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace out, everybody.